Peace and love, strength and honor. Samir Saif representing Ontario Top Team. And today I'm going to teach you three different footwork for boxing. So we're gonna get into our boxing stance. I'm in my orthodox stance, which means it's my dominant hand in the rear. My knees are flexed. I'm inside the shell and I'm gonna move in four different directions, always leading with the foot closest to the direction I wanna go in. So I'm gonna go forward with my forward foot, keeping my boxing stance. Slightly turned away, right shoulder back, left shoulder forward. I'm gonna step back to the rear. Rear foot moves first. I'm gonna to step to the left. Left foot moves first. I'm gonna to step to the right. And what you're gonna notice is I'm gonna constantly keep the same stance. Really straightforward. The reason why we do that is we're trying to keep uh, as strong a base as possible. Base, as you recall from the other videos, was a platform from which we absorb and exert force. You're gonna see that my rear foot is slightly raised. It's in the dorsiflexion, and that's so that I can really stay base. I don't want to plantar flex when I move. I don't want to go like this and lose that kind of platform time that I have on the mat to be strong. Now we're gonna go into the second type of footwork where I step and I pivot. And I can pivot, you know, 30, 45 degrees, whatever degree you need, where you feel when there's a target maybe in front of you, I was moving normal, I see an opportunity, I step and I just pivot to the side of them. Sometimes what I'll do is as I step, I won't step straight, I will step slightly to a 30 degree angle and pivot at the same time. A short pivot where my foot remains on the ground, it remains sliding. So I try to avoid a big sliding motion. So that second type of footwork is I step and I pivot and create a new angle. I step and I pivot and create that new angle. I could step backwards and then I pivot. I could step to my right and I could pivot open and then pivot back. So there'd be different reasons why I pivot with the rear foot and I pivot with the front foot depending on what's coming at me or what I'm trying to achieve to create new angles. If you want to study that further, a great boxer to watch is uh, Lomachenko. Lomachenko uses amazing amounts of pivots and angles to create things, like to create punches and defenses that you've probably never seen before or didn't even know uh, were possible. But when you watch him, it's a lot of stepping, pivoting, and then literally, like he literally can just reach out and the guy's looking the other way. The last footwork is the shuffle. And I know it's confusing sometimes, and I wanna take away that confusion of why you do the shuffle. So the shuffle can look like this, where you've seen boxers showboating, and they're shuffling their legs like this. I'm talking where you create a new angle on a 45 degree. So I'm here in my boxing stance, and I, shuffle out of the way. When I shuffle out of the way, it's for me to be out of the way as I fire a punch or get out of the way of a punch and then again create a new angle. So with your first footwork of learning to lead with the foot closest to the direction, that doesn't stop. I could be stepping one way and then I shuffle. I could be stepping back and I shuffle. I could step forward and I shuffle. I could step left and I shuffle. It's just trying to create new angles on the, uh, on the opponent. So the shuffle basically from my orthodox stance is I bring my left foot back slightly on the ball of the foot as I step regular with a flat foot to the right. So here I just shuffle and then back into my stance. So no matter what direction, even using the second type of footwork where I stepped and pivot, I could add that shuffle. So that would be the shuffle. Part of the shuffle is the skip and that's just going the other way. So instead of initiating with my left foot, I'm going to initiate with my right foot. So here I am, part of the shuffle family and I skip into a new angle. You might've seen the boxers do that too, where they suddenly have a new angle to set up that right hand. In further videos, you'll see how I put the footwork together and add the counter punching. So let's put all the footwork, the three footwork together. So I'm using that lead foot 
closest to the direction as a kind of a nucleus of footwork. And then I add my shuffle, whether I'm on the balls of my feet, I can be on both balls of my feet, I can be on the uh, rear, rear ball of my foot, I can be flat foot, but as long as I'm not crossing my feet and then adding that different footwork that I have, Now you can see it's actually pretty straightforward with three different type of footwork. You can do a lot of movement. Peace and love, strength and honor. Samir Saif representing Ontario top team. Pow!